Folks, a warm day across the valley today. Sun came out, temperatures bounced back up into the 80s after spending a week in the 70s and the 60s. And these 80s now are going to continue. It's already cooled back to 78 in Raymondville, but tomorrow right back in the 80s again. The beach will be cooler as always, staying close to the water temperature, but still a warm afternoon across the region. Tomorrow's highs, look at this, 90 in Rio Grande City. Everybody else except the beach in the 80s, still 79 there. A lot of sunshine, looks like a warm day. The next three days all look pretty warm for this time of year. The norm is 80, and we're going to go 88, 88, 88. The records are right up here, so we may get close on Thursday, maybe touching or breaking a record. We'll see how we end up. Satellite shows clear skies across the region today, and it should stay that way tonight. That will allow for the formation of patchy fog. Much like we saw this morning, we could see that again late tonight, early tomorrow morning. But after that sun comes out, it just warms up in a hurry. Do the same thing tomorrow night and into Thursday. Maybe some patchy fog early, but then sunshine takes over. A few more clouds show up on Thursday, but it's still a mostly sunny day. And then Friday, things begin to change. Our next front's on the way, and ahead of that front, moisture will thicken up. There could be a few showers during the daytime on Friday, but the best chance will be Friday evening when our cool front slides through. Might even be a thunderstorm with that front, and then a noticeably cooler day on Saturday. We'll show you that in a second. Wednesday, Thursday are dry, but Friday we bump it up to a 40% chance of rain. Best chances late, but I think even early there could be a passing shower across much of the region. Across South Texas right now, 82 San Antonio, 81 in Houston. Push it back. Look at the rest of Texas, 80 in Dallas, even up in Lubbock, 79. So you can tell there's no front on the move yet. It's going to be late Friday before the front gets here. So high pressure and control. It begins to move eastward by tomorrow. By the time you get to Thursday, it's already almost over Florida. So the southeast wind kicks in. That's what brings the moisture back in. Shower chance shows up front almost here Friday afternoon. Temperature still in the 80s. Behind that front on Saturday, clouds may linger for a while. Maybe a couple of showers early, but by afternoon the sun comes back. Temperatures no warmer in the mid 60s on Saturday afternoon. Sunday then looks like a cold start, but a mild afternoon with sunshine during the day. 58 tonight, mainly clear some patchy fog tomorrow back up to 88 early fog, but then some sunshine. Here you go. The next seven days we go 88 so then we cool it off as we get into the weekend. 66 for a high. Yeah, 66 for a high on Saturday. You know, you might need a coat if you're out and about. So look at Sunday morning, 46 on Sunday morning. That's that's a good time for a coat, right? Wow. It, it is time for Tim's coats to kick off. Just